Now from Autodesk Tools, in this video I'm going to show you the setting page right here. Um, let's go through the details here. Here you will see your email address, the one you uh, registered with to uh, the monitor. Here you can change your subscription plan. Uh, if it's the middle of the month and suddenly you get a notification from eBay and you increased your limits and you see you need to go on to the next package, you just choose it here, you click update and it will change uh, accordingly. We won't uh, charge you uh, double, we'll just be charging relatively to your usage from whenever it is that you change the, the plan. Uh, eBay accounts. You can see how many eBay accounts you have connected and you can add more eBay accounts uh, assuming that it uh, works with your subscription plan. Uh, add VA account. This is a very nice feature we added. Uh, once you uh, have a VA, a virtual assistant, you can give him or her um, access to your account. Uh, you'll have to put uh, their name here, their email, and create a password for them. And then here you can choose what you want them to see. So if, for example, uh, you have a VA that you only want him or her to upload products, you'll uh, uncheck all these boxes here and just, uh, whoop, and just enable uploader. So the only thing they will see here will be the uploader page. They won't have access to your active listings or to your invoicing or any other data. So it's a very useful feature. This uh, box right here, you wanna check if you have multiple accounts. If you have more than one eBay account, they are connected. It's very important that you won't list the same product uh, in both or how many accounts you have. So once you tick this box, um, the monitor will give you a notification that you already have this uh, product existing in a different account and will protect you in this case. Um, here, it should be uh, auto-filled with your PayPal uh, email address. If not, then you can put it here. Uh, this is so that eBay knows where to send uh, and how to go and how to where to send the invoice and how to um, charge you for your listings. Uh, this is your eBay username. If you change your username on eBay, then go here and change it here. It won't change if you change it here. It won't change it on eBay. Okay, you have to first change it on eBay and just change it here. Uh, fees. As explained before, uh, we give you the option to uh, see the actual profit uh, from your sales. So according to the fees you have on PayPal and on eBay, you can just set the percentage of fees that you are charged. So if, for example, you have a store on eBay, when you have a store on eBay, then you pay 9% 9, 9 uh, fee to eBay. And then you check what your PayPal fee is. Let's say it's 4.4. Then you will put the sum together here, 13.4. And the 30 cents uh, extra that PayPal is charging uh, for each item sold, the monitor knows to do it uh, backstage already, calculating it. So you don't need to put it here. You don't need to factor it in here. Next is the location the products are shipped from. You can choose here. Um, blocked products. Sometimes you will get emails from eBay uh, when they remove your listings for some reason and tell you you cannot sell something. Uh, you don't want to list the same item again. And you, want, you, don't, you want to prevent a situation where they're um, suspending your account. So you can click here, once they told you a certain product is prohibited, then you just put the ASIN number here, you click add, and it will no longer uh, be listed, it will be blocked from uh, a possibility to be uploaded in the monitor. Next thing is default item specifics. This is where you can uh, set a default item specific that in each upload of a new product or bulk upload, they will automatically appear 
on your eBay uh, listings. So for example, here we have very general um, item specifics that will automatically be on each listings. It's very good for Cassini and very good to be uh, for the search result to appear in the search results on eBay. So for example, here we have tax, tax free, shipping fast, delivery free, and so on and so on. And you can add whatever it is that you want. You just put it here and here, click, click plus. Of course, it's an error because I didn't write anything. This, and this, plus, and it will add it and it will be successfully added. Delete it now. Close. And that's it. Basically, from this account, you can also go and purchase Amazon gift cards if you want with your PayPal account. And that's it for the setting page. See you in the next video.